It is October 28th, 2023, approximately 5.09 Eastern Standard Time. Probably should have made this video after my first stop, so I could give myself more time, but it's probably going to be quieter on this original ride, and maybe I can fit this in in 10 minutes. But I had watched, uh, somebody uploaded a TikTok video to X, and I was watching this gym girl. And there used to be when I was when I was a wee lad, we had some gin girls, but they were more like that uh, Jen Seltzer, I think her name is, chick. Where they just went in there, they got the thin waist, they toned up their arms, they straightened their backs, and they built a big, big booty. So they're pretty much using the gym to fix their waist to hip ratio by making their buttocks bigger, hence making it appear as if they had larger, wider hips good for breeding, which was instinctually triggering men's mating things. But as feminists um, kind of got a hold of this stuff, you got these women getting muscular, they're getting tattoos and stuff, and this TikToker is there, and you, you, you kind of feel sorry for them, but you kind of don't, because there's plenty of people, especially men, telling you that this isn't true. And when you tell somebody that, they just get upset and say, yes, it is. And then they have to realize it on, this own, on her own. But she's like 28 and she's talking about, but she's in her late 20s, I think. And she's talking about how every time she sees a man, attractive man with a woman, the woman is petite and, and no tattoos, and sweet and nice and kind and she's like in her car saying I thought they wanted strong like cool masculine kind of women or whatever or, or whatever she thinks like she's like making a muscle and showing her tattoos and stuff and she's like now I realize that's not what they want at all and I don't know what to do because it's it's you know she's like it's kind of like too late I kind of end this now and it's really sad and I was just I was just pondering this and one of the big issues with hyper feminism government funded because a movement an organic movement will ebb and flow and like as it's needed it pushes up and then as it's less needed people will leave and back and forth because the market won't support it but when you have a corruption of that movement when you got like a steroid injection of finances you get false signals from the from the market so feminism is really getting pumped up getting juiced straight in the fucking clue with steroids and Reagan shooting right to the moon and it's gone past where it organically should have been and it seems that women at this point and you, I've been told since I was young that women are the emotionally intelligent ones. And the older I get, the more I realize that it's men that are emotionally intelligent, at least with their own emotions. And that it's women who don't communicate their emotions. And so a lot of times men don't understand female communicate like emotions because no one's explaining it to them. And women want you know, oh, he should know, he should be a mind reader, he should be all this, he should understand, he should be emotional intelligent. It's like, no, we are emotional intelligent with one another. That's why guys rock and get along so well. It's women that don't share their emotions, so you don't know what's going on, and then you're supposed to guess. And what I think it's become with feminism is they've fallen into a trap of jealousy and envy. And because that releases chemicals in them, they get so used to it that they, um, and I think this might be happening with the transgender community as well. They're misinterpreting the feeling of jealousy or envy uh, because it's exciting. It's, it's, it brings them up compared to being down and depressed. And they're associating that with what, like an abusive relationship with people as attraction. 
this may be why you have such a huge percentage of women claiming to be bisexual now because they're confusing the envy for a man or the end you know penis envy for a man or the envy of the beauty of another woman or the competition as attraction and then when they sexually hook up with either that man or that woman they feel like they won the competition and it's become very competitive and then so they're they're in the gym and they're like because I'm envious and I like other beautiful women then men must be the same way so I'm going to get muscular and get tattoos like him and then he'll find me attractive because he's you know acting in that manner as well because it's got to be corrupted in some manner because I don't know and maybe it's the bubble that I live in but I know very few I mean I see guys smashing these chicks you know and I've been in the punk scene for out of it now but I've been in the punk scene I'm in the, the punky type comedy scene or whatever and I see these women getting attention but I don't see these women in long-term marriages and relationships so when you see these women that want their goal is long-term relationship and marriage and they're sinning they're missing the goal they're missing the aim they're missing the target and they keep heading in that direction. They've set their nav system to go to a location and then they find out, oh, I'm supposed to be heading north, but I'm going south. And then they just floor it and keep going south. It's like, you have to repent for your sins and go back. It's like um, a sunken cost fallacy. You know what I mean? Like you're playing a hand of poker and you already put a hundred bucks in you call another hundred bucks because you're like, well, I want to try to get that hundred bucks back and now you just lost 200 bucks. Or if you start a business and you, you lose 2000 and it's not going well, so you're like, well, I have to put another 2000 in, you know? And it's like, no, cut the ropes. Stop getting tattoos. Stop, you know, taking SARMs and working out and building your lats. Stop partying, stop drinking, stop being, trying to be a boss girl, stop, turn the ship around and figure out you know what's actually going to make you happy and feminine and all stuff and stop following these these trends and stuff i know for uh lower iq individuals it's easier to follow the the masses but you're going to end up a lemming you know running off the side of a cliff if you just keep following the masses and don't start following your individual goals so i'm at my destination so that's enough that's enough ranting eight minutes deep bam